Hello again. Hello. It's day. Something. 13. 13. It's day 13. God, they're blending together. Last day of paper making. It We're so going to show you what we end up with out from out of the pulp. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm very excited. Are you excited? excited? I'm very excited. Let's get cracking. So, we're back. We've got the pulp from yesterday. It's all good and ready to go. Andy, what's up? Uh, not an awful lot, my friend. I'm just laying out some towels. Because we're going to need them. Buster. So is this to make a surface to put the paper onto? Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Use our... We've got some nice old tea towels. Yeah, manky tea towels. Horrible. They aren't great, are they? Um, and what we're going to do is we are going to scoop up some of the pulp, make it nice and even on our trays. Yep. Do you want to use the fancy one or the plain one? I think I want to use the plain one first. Yeah. Um, and then you basically... Sit it down, put all the pulp on, press the water out of the onto, pulp onto your tea using towel. A sponge and onto the tea towel. Could you use a regular towel? Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't really matter, just need an absorbent surface. Yep. And now we can then you turn it out. Flip it out. How are you feeling about this? Good. And then where do they? Where does the paper get stored? Well, you need to wait for it to dry. So if you've got some sort of drying rack, that's great. If not, I mean, I'm not your dad. You can probably figure it out. Could, could you dry it out with a hairdryer? You could dry it out with a hairdryer. Very much so. Cool. Not a problem. So you kind of, unless you've got a good large, like, kitchen work surface to lay out onto, you kind of... Or a laminate control. flooring, I suppose. Yeah. It's probably easier to just dry it as you go. One at a time. Would you be able to do that? Yeah. Which colour? Grey first. Right. Let's give that a bit of a stir. So I guess in theory you want a box that you can lay the panel flat in, or does it kind Ideally, of... Ideally, Oh, yes. it sort of sticks to itself, It does it? stick, yeah. Oh, mine's fallen out. I shook it too hard. Let's have another go. Hang on. Said about sponging it, we do that on here. Yep. This is quite wet. So I can take off some of the residual, flip it, oh, and sponge the back. Any hints and tip, tips and tricks? Anything to... Use your common sense. If you think that it's not going to stick, or it is going to stick, maybe don't do the thing that you're about to do, like I did. How dry does it need to be before you take the frame off? Uh, I think you'll kind of be able to tell when it's ready to come off, you know? Like, it's not going to be bone dry. That's just not how it's going to be. I'm telling you now. But, you can kind of give it a bit of a tester. And hopefully, hopefully it'll come off on that bottom paper. You could also, if that's what you want to do, put the entire thing over. You could take this opportunity, right here, right now, to start blow drying it. Careful. Look at that. Do you want to do the honours, yeah. good sir? Yeah. 
So, because it's bloody cold in the workshop, I think we're going to leave this on the radiator while we do the next one uh, and show you how that one comes out. And we'll try and peel it off the screen when it's a bit drier. So, what you want to do is you want to give your pulp a stir because you want it to be in solution. And you reckon the the pattern on this is going to show up in... Yeah, it should leave an imprint for texture on the paper. Now I've kind of just let it pick up... No, 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 no. no. Stop, stop. No. Bring it out. Just don't let it shift around on the screen. Can we get a piece of paper? So I had a way of doing it, which I've completely forgotten, um, where I used the towel to do it, to do that part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let it really come on. Then flip it over. Flip it. And it starts sponging it off. You're, oh, good lord, there was this thing. see that? It's the print has come out with the, with oh, the yeah. texture. Ever it. so slightly, it's got some little flowers in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that on the radiator. So we can get this one. Please don't move it. There we go. Take it away. Oh, there we go. Oh. Blimey, that was a little bit stressful. But yeah, once it's like dry enough, it can support itself. You can generally peel it off the off the frame. Hmm. And then it basically just needs to go hard, doesn't it? No, you just need to leave it to dry. See, this is what I assumed when we were making the tray by the frames. I thought we'd have it this way round, so it's like a tray. I don't think it really matters which way around to do it. If you know. I guess it depends entirely on how much you want to, you know, how thick you want your paper. Yeah. I guess, basically, as you're seeing, there's a couple different ways to try it, and you've got to just pick your own, really. Look at that. Da, da, da. Paper. So, yes, uh, I still recommend doing it that way up. Doing it on the, on the top house. place, yeah. But yes, the other two sheets we did are drying still. There's the non textured one. There's the textured one. It's still kind of got some of the texture in, but it's not come out quite as much as that one. Hmm. Those are days. So what's the... So obviously the ones, these ones, that were that way round, yep. they've obviously got a squarer edge. This, no. That no? one and that one. Oh, it doesn't. That way round. This one got stuck in between the gap in the, in the frame there, so... Not so square. That one came out okay though. I'm pretty sure it like actually did get stuck. But you reckon definitely that way round? Yes. Yes, as I said before. Very cool. Some trips. 
tips, tips and tricks, trips. Uh, you can, as I was saying about putting extra stuff into the pole, if you wanted to make multiple sheets with uh, a bit of like glitter in them, or some flowers, or whatever, you can do that. You can just put the extra bits directly into the wood pulp, you know, the paper pulp in the pot. And then when you pull it out and squish it all and drain it off, it'll come out and they'll be embedded in the paper, which is very, very exciting. Uh, you can experiment with all sorts of stuff. So I'm looking forward to seeing people's creations. Matt, what do you think? I think it's been really good. It's been super interesting. Jolly good. I'm glad we've done it for both boxes. I feel like it's stuff that's appropriate for for both. Good. This has been the Explorers and the Scholars box for the last couple of days. Crazy days. Yeah, because every adventurer, regardless of how academic or physically minded they are, is going to need some sort of paper or writing equipment to count their kills or the amount of novels they've written. Keep track of how much gold they burn. Yeah. You know, how many dragons slayed. Um, how many gems pilfered? Slain, even. Slain. How many dragons slain? I feel like that should be against some sort of regulation to kill dragons. Because they're probably an endangered species. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this triathlon of video. Uh, and I hope it's given you some inspiration to make your own things mm. and recycle your own paper. Remember, the competition's still going. Yep. Send your pictures in to the email stated at the end. Yep. Hopefully you've seen that title card 13 times already. Hopefully. Um, yeah, remember the hashtags. Pick one of us, or both. Mm. Mm. That's never allowed. No? Well, it is. It is. Yeah, you only get one chance in each competition. Yeah. <laughs> We've got to keep it fair. We do. Cheerio! Bye! See you tomorrow!